Here we go. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the smokehouse. How is everyone doing? Um, it is me. It is I. The king of video games. The queen. The emperor of all. The final gamer. How is everyone? Who's the, it's Look, it's me. It's me. I'm back. Um, back after another week. Uh, here to play some games. Here to show some high-level gameplay. It's the reason you're all here. I'm sorry for your pain, but that turn during Versus Wolves is amazing. I would like to get through as much of this stream as we can without talking about Omicron the Nomad Soul until it is time to play Omicron the Nomad Soul. Please respect my wishes, chat. You must pay what is owed and you must pay it in blood, John. That sounds like one of my many sleep paralysis demons. Um, good to have you in chat here, buddy. Hi John, I met you at a Kumacon over the weekend. I was really anxious for the most of the con, but meeting you was a highlight. Thank you for being um, so lovely to talk to. Uh, thank you for not blowing up my spot uh, on what I'm like in real life. Um, I can tell you how that interaction went, because all my interactions at cons go the same way. Um, I'll be sitting at a table, and I'll just be fucking pissed off that I have to be there. And someone will come up to me and be like... Super Right Patch Wolf, I just want to say that I was going through a really tough time last year, and I'll, I'll just go like this. Immediately like that, and I'll point at the sign, and the sign will say autographs, $80. And then they'll look at me and be like, but we're in Ireland and I don't have dollars, and I will tap the sign aggressively. I will wait for them to find $80, and then when they do, I will make the tiniest mark on whatever piece of paper they had that just says S-W. They will try to say something else to me and I will go like this. That is the Super Eye Patch Wolf experience. Um, it is the only experience I'm interested in providing. If you have ever traveled from like out of town to meet me at a con, I have no doubt it is anything but a crushing disappointment. Um, I would say I'm sorry, but I don't care. I have no interest in changing. I'm too big to fail, and I can just act however I want now. So Super Eyepatch is your first name, and Wolf is your second. No, Max Cornwell, that's that's not what's... I just don't have time. I can't, I can't spare the energy. I'm thinking about stuff. At any moment... I could think of the next revolutionary YouTube video idea like I have so many times in the past and I don't have the mental energy spare to waste on something as insignificant as my own fans. Okay? John threw boiling water on me, that's true. He took my lunch too. I will, that is the other thing. If you come to me at a con, there is every chance that I will take something from you. And um, just to know I can. I will, I will take your backpack, and I will not give it back, okay? And you will look around, and you will look at the staff of the con, and be like, This influencer just stole my backpack, and I swear to fucking god, they will look at you and do this. It, I've seen it happen so many times. It's crazy. Uh, it, it's cra- it, and no one tries to stop me. No one, ever. I saw John at a con in Dublin. I told him how cool it was to meet him in person, but I didn't want to be a douche and bother him and ask for a photo. And he said, uh, oh, like you're doing now? I was taken aback and I said, huh? But he kept, this all sounds real, but he kept cutting me off. Um, but he kept cutting me off going, huh, huh, huh? And closing his hands shut in front of my face. I walked away, continued with my shopping, and I heard him chuckle as I walked off. Uh, that's definitely true. I can, I can tell you right now that is an authentic Super Eye Patch Wolf interaction. Definitely. Once I saw him laugh at a guy wearing a Hero Academia shirt, one of the only times I've seen him have a positive interaction. Um, yeah, that, that, that guy um, came up to me, and I can't remember how the conversation started. Um, I think he said something like, Hey, I Patch Wolf, listen, um, I just lost my brother in a tragic accident, and, um, you know, your videos, your street, and I saw the motherfucker was wearing a, a Hero Academia, and I was like, Oh, fucking Hero Academia, you little baby, you little fucking baby, why don't you go watch some real anime? Uh, I don't remember the rest of the interaction, I think he started crying, which is just sad. 
Like, why are you crying? Like, that's weird. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, so that, that's it. Um, uh, I will be appearing at Dublin City Comic Con the Sunday. So if anyone would like to come down and, and, and meet me, you can do that. Uh, just remember to bring $80, 80 American dollars, or eight doubloons of gold. I accept either. John, what's your fave hentai? Okay, okay, okay. Real talk. Genuinely, and people, whenever I say this, people are all like, oh, bullshit. I don't watch hentai. Um, I, I just never got into it. And, and that's not saying I don't like hot anime people. I just don't watch hentai. I remember I was watching Trash Taste before. And they recommended a hentai about a mean nurse. And I was like, oh, really? Okay, maybe... Maybe maybe that... Maybe I could... Maybe, maybe... Maybe that might be up my alley. And I turned it on, and I was just like, nope. This ain't a... This ain't a... This ain't... This ain't... This ain't doing nothing for me. I think the animation is too poor quality for me. Maybe I'd have... Be maybe I'd have better look like reading hentai. Don't anyone send me hentai recommendations, please. I'm begging you. The doujin for that nurse is way hotter. <laughs> well, I, I have a feeling that you are genuinely being serious. Oh! I remember, I remember... Friends have bought me zines... About characters I like. I'm not gonna say which characters. And I thought the zines were very good. I was like, wow, these drawings are incredible. This sounds like someone who watches too much hentai. I used to have this joke that whenever someone would deny something, I'd be like, only a guilty man would deny a crime. That is how I feel talking about hentai. I think the second you enter into a conversation about hentai, you are immediately entering into a no-win zone where it's... Look, it doesn't matter which character it is, okay? It doesn't matter, chat. And don't, don't bother, don't bother trying to guess um, everyone's saying Makima. I'm not saying it's not Makima. I'm not, but I am not confirming it is Makima. So we, there's just no way to tell. There's just no way to tell. Okay, we'll never know. None of you will ever know. None of you know me. Um, getting getting pretty darn sick of you acting like you do. Definitely no Makima tattoo on the final gamer. Okay, listen. These these rumors that I have a Makima tattoo. They are outlandish and offensive. And I want them to stop right now. Here? Okay, it's They're not possible. it's not funny. It's just hurtful to think that I I would do that. It's 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 insane. And you could show us proof that you don't have a Makima tattoo. Okay, proof that I don't have a Makima tattoo. Okay, none there, none on the back of the arms, none on the legs, just just nothing. No Makima tattoo. Here? There. Impossible. Open and open and closed. Fact and fiction. Objectively proved that there is no Makima tattoo anywhere on the final gamer. Do you understand? And anyone who carries on that lie. You're a fucking asshole. Other what does other leg mean? How do you have other leg? You have right leg, you have left leg. What the fuck is an other leg? Jesus. Oh. God. I really like okay. I know I know you're not meant to say this on stream. Uh, I, I fucking hate streaming with all of you. You, you just you don't make Here? any sense Impossible. and you're constantly going on about shit that doesn't matter. And I just want to say, like, I don't appreciate it. I don't like that you're here. Thank you for the subscription, Wave War. Uh, that I I appreciate it. Um, and we're all on this sinking ship together, buddy. Most Irish level of appreciation ever. Oh, you're in for a good time with Aurora. I'm really looking forward to watching it. Unfortunately, a lot of my gaming time has been taken up by a different game that we will get to. But before we do, I genuinely didn't want to hold play that spend the whole stream playing fucking Omicron. So we're gonna we're gonna look at some other stuff first. Okay? We're gonna we're gonna play a few weird little indie games that I've just been kind of curious about. And I want to experience. And the first one is Bookshot Roulette. Apparently this game takes like 20 or 30 minutes to beat. Look, let's let's just give it a shot. Oh, that is a sick title. Wow, look at that. Oh! And the fucking vibes, chat. Listen. 
versus wolves is so good. You and Wooly have great chemistry. Okay, you know what? Actually, chat. Um. I would like to announce my retirement from versus wolves. Um, I think we've had an incredible run, and um, you know, I, I have lost counts of how many episodes. But I think after the last one, it's clear that Wooly has some anger issues, and I, um, I, uh, you know, the most loving thing I can do for him now is to walk away. I think everyone agrees that Wooly is unreasonable and unhinged, and uh, I don't feel safe when we podcast together. So, um, yeah, I would like to announce that I am leaving. Like, I think, okay, just ch ch tell me if I'm wrong here. Tell me if I'm wrong. Like, I'm the good guy in Versus Wolves. Like, it's th got this real hero-villain dynamic, and I'm, I'm the victim. I am the one who had to suffer Omicron. Okay, well, I don't... Un so, I I've kind of talked about this... Uh, I've kind of talked about this before, chat, but when people disagree with me, it's quite triggering. So, I'd appreciate... I'd appreciate if, if the chat could, wouldn't do that. But anyway, yeah, um, I would like to... Uh, I would like to officially announce my retiring from Versus Wolves. Now, that said, we are recording a new episode next week, um, meaning that the next Versus Wolves will be out two weeks from today. Um, I will be continuing on with the podcast from a position of retirement. Uh, I, I presume that makes complete sense to everybody, right? That everyone understands? Go to therapy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too real. Too real. Okay, I don't know anything about this game. This is my first time playing. Oh, look at the look at this thing. Interact. Oh, pills. Consume pills every time, baby. This is immediately not what I was expecting. Oh. Oh! Please sign the waiver. Uh, my name is J. O. H. N. Enter. This is fucking cool. I'm getting real inscription vibes from this. Not gonna read it. No, never, never read any legal, any kind of legal contracts. That's that's a piece of genuine advice from me to all of you. Shotgun shooting yourself with a blank skips the dealer's turn. You're, you rack the shotgun. Ends rounds on the last shell. Okay, so I have to shoot. Wait. Do I shoot him or me? Oh, I'll shoot the dealer. I won! Oh, he didn't like that. The pills skipped the intro. To the point that we should start again? Oh god, he shot himself again! Okay, so what happens if I drink a beer? That looks like a blank. I'm gonna shoot the dealer again. 
Huh. Okay. The entire story gets, um, you're playing with it. Okay, I think I need to restart. I think I need to restart here. This is no good. Because, yeah, I, I have no fucking idea what's going on. I think you might have a better time if you started over without pills. Well, isn't that the truth? Okay. Um, no, no drugs for me, thank you. Please sign the waiver. I can't read that. Okay. Uh, J O H N. Enter. One live round, two blacks. I insert the shells in an unknown order. Okay. Shooting yourself with a blank turns. Okay. Skips the dealer's turn. Okay. So, because there's two blanks in there and one live shell, it makes sense for me to try and shoot myself, skip his turn, and then I have a 50-50 shot of shooting him. Uh, okay. Okay, so we know now that there's a, there's a blank left. Okay, so now I can shoot myself knowing this is definitely a blank. Oh, I thought I was going to have a real Daffy Duck moment there for a second. Two, three live rounds, two blanks. They enter the chamber in a hidden sequence. Okay, I sure I'm gonna shoot him because there's a higher chance of it being a live round, right? Bow! Oh! I felt way too much elation from that. Okay, so now he's able to take another shot. Yeah! That's really satisfying. John wins. John always wins. Let's make this a little more interesting. Two items each. More items before every load. Okay. okay magnifying glass. And a beer. Oh, 50-50 chance. Beer, you rock the shotgun. Ends round on last shell. Check the current round in the chamber. Seriously? That's a live round. Which means I just gotta shoot him? Okay, now he gets to skip one. Handcuffs. General release of liability. Enter name God. Wait, what was that? Two live rounds, two blanks. So a 50-50. Okay, so now I can just take sh two shots at him willy-nilly. Yes! I am whooping this guy's ass! Oh, that's just God. Don't worry about it. Oh, and I can still take another shot. Are you guys... When I, when I talk about high-level gameplay... This is what I'm talking about. Oh, he can see. Very interesting. Oh. 
Uh oh. So now he gets to go again? No, he doesn't. Or does he? Three live rounds. I'm gonna handcuff him because that always seems like a good idea. So now we have a 50-50 because it's two rounds. I'm gonna shoot myself because I feel like this is a blank. Perfect! Final round. Long last, we arrive at the final showdown. No more defibrillators, no more blood transfusions. Now, me and you, we are dancing on the edge of life and death. Uh... I like these items. That's a really good selection of items. You know the drill. Okay, so right now, because there's two in the chamber, two blanks, I think it's better off just to shoot myself. And if I'm wrong, I can get held back with the cigarettes. I have two handcuffs, so I can... I can fuck this guy up. Okay, here we go. Oh! Okay. Now it's 50-50, so I might... I might use a magnifying glass. Okay, it's also a blank, so it's time to shoot myself again. Now I can go again, but now we know there's only one... Now that we know there's one in the chamber. Um, chat, let me tell you about a, a short independent film I wrote when I was in college, okay? I never made it, but I made a film. I, I wrote a script, um, and it was called Gun Room, okay? And the idea behind Gun Room is that there was four people in a room, okay? And the four people were all, like, sitting on couches and just chilling, and then one of them, the main character, notices that there is actually a fifth person in the room. And the fifth person has a gun and is pointing it at one of the others, okay? And the other three people cannot see this fifth person. They're like, what? There's no one in this room but us. What's wrong with you? And he's like, there's a person with a gun right there, okay? Um, I, I cannot tell you how the film ends because then you all of you will go and make it and I refuse to I refuse to let that secret out but I did come up with a tagline for this movie okay and it is the best tagline of all time of all time all right gun room there's one in the chamber Chat, could one in, get get to see it's the chamber, cause 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 that's that's the name of a room. Yep, there's one in the chamber, employing both a person and a bull. It's it's genius. It's genius. Okay, Poss maybe too genius for some. Look, it it's 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 great. Okay, uh. Okay, this is a good selection. 
Oh, four and four, 50-50. Okay, I think I'm gonna handcuff him. I also think because it's 50-50, that's the optimum time to use the magnifying glass. Okay, so that's a blank, so we're gonna shoot ourselves. Now, because it's a blank, it's more likely that there's live rounds in there. So, we're gonna shoot the dealer. Oh shit, okay. I'm gonna go for the shot again. I probably. Yes! Okay, what's he gonna do? Okay, he uses a magnifying glass. Shit. Very interesting. He can see what's in the shotgun. Okay, we have been handcuffed and shot. Sorry, I got distracted. I need to pay attention. Very interesting. Oh god, this is not good. He goes again. Very interesting. What do the knives do? What do the knives do? <gasps> okay. We're still handcuffed. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Okay, we're not handcuffed anymore. Uh, so first thing, handcuff that motherfucker. Then, rack the shotgun ends on the last shell. So, basically, the way it is right now is I think there is a lot more duds in it than live rounds. Which means, would I be better, chat, using the beer and ending this round and starting a new round? Not how that works. It isn't 50-50. No less duds. Okay. Uh, okay, let's smoke a pack. And let's try shooting. Nice. Two more and he's done. Wait. What? Where's his health gun? Three live rounds, two duds. Okay. Okay, let's handcuff him. Let's smoke some cigarettes. And let's do it. Yeah, because we have a higher chance that this is a live round. Yeah. Congratulations, John. Shots ejected, doors kicked, cigarettes smoked, total cash $69,560. Well, there we go, chat. Um, as ever, the final gamer rocks up to another game and just fucking decimate, decimates it. That, I, I haven't rocked a game that badly since my first time ever playing Fear and Hunger on stream. And I don't know if you guys remember, I, I picked, I had never played Fear, of, Fear and Hunger before. I played it on stream and I believe, I, uh, without knowing what I was doing, got the Grogoroth ending in, I think, 40 minutes. Uh, can anyone in, can anyone in chat confirm that for me? That, that all sounds right to me. 
this game was so eye patch wolf core. <laughs> It was cool. I really, really liked that. Like, just a very chill, fun minute, or fun, fun like, 20 minutes. I, I thought the aesthetic and everything about it was just, mwah. Uh, love that music. Love, love that music. Hello, John. You'll be happy to know that my wife shares the Baldur's Gate 3 hair-related opinions. She nearly cried when... <gasps> that reminds me! That reminds me! This is my special custom made Shadow Heart um, Final Gamer t shirt. It is unique to me. You can see my face there. Um This was this was a precious gift from a beloved fan. And you can see it adorned with the the beautiful version of Shadow Heart. On, 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 on this side, um, there she is, my, my love in all her, all her little goth alt girl glory, and then the absolutely disgusting shadow heart, uh, here. You can see, like, that, that's what we're talking about here. And then on the back, it, it, it says, um, do it for her. Yeah, this is, this is the tea. And um, the person gave me this at MAGFest and at the last MAGFest they gave me a Leslie Bestington tea Um, yeah, I will now I will now read what's on the tea. I'm gonna step off screen because I don't want to flash my titties on stream by accident I'm really glad I did that because everything came off Okay um, Here's what the t-shirt says, okay? Um, but then about 40 hours in, or 40 hours into the game, uh, some shit goes down that I won't get into and my beautiful goth girl with bangs, Shadow Heart, goes through some very, very important personal growth and, uh, and, uh, I'm happy for her. I think she's becoming a person that she's always wanted to be and she, she changes her hair. Uh, she, 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 they even have like all my like word stumbles in there. See that? Uh, she 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 doesn't she doesn't have the, the the bangs anymore chat and like I just like I'm not I'm not shallow Okay, so like I don't I don't want people in the chat saying I'm shallow I'm I'm cuz I'm I'm not I feel like there maybe should have been I feel like there I feel like there should have maybe been some kind of warning on the front box that shadow hearts hair doesn't always look like that Okay, like it's it's that I would, I would have spent my time, if I'd known that, I would have spent my time differently if I had known that that was likely to change. Um, chat, whoa, misogyny over a hairstyle. It's not misogyny, it's, it's, they lure you in, they lure you in, and they change the deal, so, long story short, been hanging around with Lazel more and more regularly. Regular Eye Patch Wolf 2023. Um, a, a beautiful commemoration of... Um, honestly, uh, 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 honestly, like, so chat, I've always been very, like, open about this, that one of my biggest struggles in life, it's, it's hard to talk about, one of my biggest struggles in life is that I'm too real. I'm just too real, and, and normies can't handle it, and it really, it means a lot when you see that immortalized on a t-shirt. So I just want to thank Retrotainment. I believe that's their name. I'm sorry if it's not for um for making for for making that realness into physical form that I can wear. Okay. I, I really appreciate it. And it's going to get a place of honor right here. It's going to cover up my, my gay cloud and and my gay cloud and Sephiroth tail, okay? So yeah, very special. And um, just while we're on the subject of like, you know, the community and everything chat, um okay, so chat. Um people have been drawing some some fan art of me recently and um you know I try and keep these streams lighthearted. But, um, clearly, these drawings are made to ridicule, okay? 
Um, here is an image of me at a strip club and a stripper is engaging me and I am saying the line, I have a wife and we play PlayStation together. You know, I just, I feel like, I feel, I'm not saying it's not great fan art chat, I'm not saying it's not a good drawing, but it's offensive, okay? It, chat, stop laughing. It, this is not. This is not the reason I'm bringing this up. Okay, chat. It, you're you're not meant to be getting enjoyment out of this. Yeah, no, the art is fire. I can see that neon fish face. Okay, no, chat. You you're not taking. You're not taking the correct lesson here. Oh, this is so upsetting. This is so well. Like, okay, now I feel like when I show the second piece of art that also illustrates this moment, now I'm just gonna look like a fucking idiot, chat. Okay, this was meant to be a PSA about my feelings and you're turning it into something else. No, the the point is that it's not The point the point is chat that when people make fun of me, it's not funny. It's funny when people make fun of other people who aren't me, okay? That's my only point. Is that so difficult to understand? Is this what you want? Is this what you think when you think of me? Because if it is, the you have no place in these streams. These streams are about high-level gameplay. I'm I'm blue in the face saying that chat. They're not about illustrating embarrassing moments that may or may not have happened. Okay, okay. Do we have an understanding on that? And I just want to say to these artists, um. At free glass and at sharky underscore arts you should not go follow them and definitely not like and check out the rest of their work and maybe check out their commissions if they're open like okay look uh, like I bet I bet I'll click on free glass art and uh, honestly I'm gonna be real I bet their works shit okay well clearly they're very talented uh clearly they're a really good artist um and you know what never mind uh it, it's fine it doesn't matter um you know so look chat the point the point the point is the point the point is that we as a community need to start start pushing back on people making fun of me because no one likes it okay none of you like it i don't like it it's it's fine it's fine milf commissions you know what look i respect it Oh wow, yeah, these these are these are these are some strong milfs. Okay, chat, there is another game I wanna play. There's another game that came out in the Steam Next Fest that I've been really curious about, and it is called Normal Fishing. Normal fishing, press start. Day one. It's a beautiful woman. Husband, today we begin our new life in Lake Village. We need money for our big lifestyle. Go catch some fish to trade with Mr. Fishman. He is a good and honest man. He will give us a great price for the fish you catch. Maybe you can even find item of value in the lake. I am excited to hear stories of your adventures. Be safe and bring back money. Hey, welcome to my fish trading hut. Okay, so right off the bat chat, what I would say is that the thing I like about this game, it's normal. Okay, it's just, it's, it's... I think there needs to be more normal video games. Yeah, but like just, uh, uh, you know, normal, normal fish is, norm, normal games is what, I want more normal art. I don't like being challenged, I don't like being scared, just more normal art. Let's fishing. Raw over, row over a fishing spot and interact to start fishing. Fishing spots are indicated by shadows and bubbles. Chat, let me tell you, uh, this is not a super font for, for the dyslexia-brained 
and shockingly, it is only, by a wide margin, the second worst font I have experienced this week. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, chat. Look at how chill this is, dude. Now, a nice... Super realistic. Touch the fish with your hook to catch it, but watch out for junk. Dodge the debris. Shoot bait pellets at the fish to draw it closer and catch. Oh, this is really realistic. Come on. Come on. Hook. It's not over yet. Pull when the needle is in the active zones to reel in the fish to pull the line. Okay. Oh, uh, this is nothing to the final game. I mean, come on. Fish get! Fish get! Yes, okay, sorry. Um, You caught the rad roach. Is it like a fallout thing? Whoa, look at the time. Time passes when you attempt to catch a fish. When the timer hits zero, the day will end. Now, explore the lake and enjoy your fishing adventure. Oh, yeah. Oh, chat, we, we, have, we have to go back. We, ha we have to go back, you know? I mean, this is what it's all about. Not... not you know, not... Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, this 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 fish is defending itself. Oh, this this thing's strong. Uh, you know what? As someone who has listed Toho A Imperishable Night in their favorite games of all times list, uh, this ain't nothing to the final gamer. Okay, a little difficult. Boom 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 I mean I'm 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 trying to downplay how impressive that was, but chat come on come on we're we're I mean Okay, I just just for a second, I just wanna kinda paddle up and down this this lake and just fucking chill. I mean guys, look at this. You know, this is this is what it should have been. This this is absolutely what it should have been. I mean what are we doing on social media? I mean, if we would, if we would all look up from our phones for one second and see, see how beautiful the world outside really is, then we, we could all, we could all make it together, hand in hand. If we could all just get off social media, ex except Twitch, and and specifically ex except my my Twitch channel. Or YouTube VOD, d depending on what you're- Don't get off them! No, no, you just- you stay right where you are. Don't- Don't fucking move! Because that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about different people who are not watching this. It's, it's fishing time! Oh, this, this guy's fast. Oh wait, I can just move forward? Oh, he's tricky. He's tricky. Okay, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Perfect. Every fucking time, chat. We got we got two more fishing slots left. Let's go for this one. Yeah, get get fucked, fish. Hook. Let's 
Fish get! Fish get! Okay, final fish of the day chat. Let's try and find a big one before we go home to our beautiful wife. No. No, that one's tiny. Uh, I, want, I want our wife to be impressed. Um, I, I, I want my wife to be impressed a lot of the time. She's hard to impress, though. Um, you, you know one thing about Michelle? Oh, what's that? So, me and Michelle have been, for eight, been together for 18 years, right? Michelle does not give a fuck about YouTube. Like, at all. She does not care. And so I'm like, video I just made. <laughs> just got a million views or whatever. And she'll just be like, I, okay, fine. Um, could, could you please pick up the milk? Uh, which, I, which I will not. And it's like, oh, that's a big one. It's like, I like that. You know, because it's like, YouTube becomes so much a part around like how people see you and all that kind of stuff. And I think just because we've been together so long, Michelle just kind of knows me as, like, kind of a silly idiot. And it's awesome! I don't know. I don't know. I don't- I fear I'm not making any sense, but that- trust me. Just trust me. I- I think... Okay, hang on. I, I will complete that thought. I was- remember I was around a friend before, and they were like, I just want you to know that I am a big fan of Super Eyepatch Wolf, but I'm also a big fan of John Walsh. And... <laughs> I just looked at them and I was like, don't ever say that again. <laughs> I was like, don't fucking... Oh. But yeah, I don't know. I think sometimes like with YouTube stuff, it's nice being around people who don't make you feel like a YouTuber, and I'm glad my wife is one of those people. You know, she's just a weird little dude, and I, I, I really sp still like spending time with her. It's fun. Okay, the pike. Yep, the pike. Back to business. Okay, back to my fake wife. Oh no, he's not my wife. Although... Ah, uh, so you made it back, huh? Hope the lake didn't cause you too much- no trouble. The last guy up and left for no good reason. Just decided he didn't want to fish no more, I guess. Anyways, did you catch anything special today? This time of year, the lake is very quiet. You might not- I don't know what accent we're going for here, but we are going for it. You might not see many other folk around here, but that means more fish for you. Now, let's see what you've got. Anyone getting maybe, um... Vaguely sinister tone from this dude. I'll give you cash for your loot. Okay, the sun bow trout. 45 bucks. Punky, pi Punky peach, 20 bucks. Punky perch, 20 bucks. Pike, 20 bucks. Nah, he's chill. No. Okay. The fish are thriving, friend. I'm sure tomorrow's gonna be a great day too. I'll see you in the morning. He seems okay. Okay, okay, my mistake, my mistake. Uh, back home to my fish wife. Mr. Fishman. Oh, it's you. Did you enjoy your fishing today? There's a variety of fish in the lake. Like, a crazy weird variety. You wouldn't believe some of the creatures living there. But sometimes, they're hard to find. Keep looking around the lake to catch more interesting fish by... I guess he is kind of chill. Who's Otis? Hello there! Um, how do you get my number? Did Mr. Fishman give it to you? Well, anyway, my name is Otis. I'm another fisherman who visits the lake. I was busy today, so you wouldn't have seen me. But I think I'll be out on the water tomorrow. Maybe I'll... Maybe we'll see each other. Okay. Mrs. Duckman. Welcome to the villager, stranger. Do you know the lake's importance? The lake is where our nature trails lead to and from. It's a place of beauty, peace, romance. But that's not all. Some say the lake is filled with magic, 
magical fish, or maybe magical water, but also treasure. Hey, she kind of, you're kind of rumbling a li bit, little bit here, Miss, Mrs. Mrs. Druckman. Maybe you'll find some adventures. Fishing kid. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is my voice for fishing kid. Hey, this is the famous fishing kid. How are you finding the job so far? I don't mind fishing, but the water kind of scares me. I don't know why. Anyway, I hope you have fishing fun fishing tomorrow. Go catch a big one for us, yeah? I believe in you. Okay, and our collection is just a bunch of fish. That's cool. Let's end the day. Hello, my husband. Did you bring home big money? Thank you for trying to catch some fish. I have found a secret fact for you. Fish is important here in Lake Village. We must respect the customs of the people, and we must also respect the lake. I am sure bigger adventures await you tomorrow, fish. That is wild. That is word for word an exact conversation I've had with Michelle. Just, like, one to one. Husband! Good morning. Did you sleep well? Last night there was a beautiful meteor shower. But you missed it because you were sleeping. Next time, try... Awake. <laughs> anyway, today is the fish market event in the village. Mr. Fishman wants you to collect fish for the evening. The villagers believe in an ancient godfish. Legends say it is pleased by the radical fishing, by radical fishing skills. This is your chance to prove your value. And maybe bring back more money? Have a good day, husband. I do think we should try awake. Hey, stranger. How'd you get? S how'd you sleep? Don't worry. I'm not interested. What I am interested in is you guessed the fish. If you want to catch bigger fish, I can help. And what I mean by that is, I can sell you some tasty upgrades. Just uh, choose carefully. I ain't giving out discounts here. Okay, what we got? Rowing and moving speed. Real pull strength. I think real pull strength would be a good one. Life and fishing line strength. Okay. I'm such an elite gamer that I don't need to worry about health or line strength. I can just I can just I can just go all in on reeling and pulling strength. Be careful today. Children were making a mess of the lake last night. I wish someone would do something about them. The lake is a nicer place when it's clean. That's why I'll pay for any that's why I'll pay for any junk you collect, but I pay more for fish. Oh, before I forget, another fisherman is out on the lake today. His name is Otis. Oh, we met Otis. Say hi if you see him. Bye. The, um, the bulletin body shows news about the lake and rumors of the special unique fish to catch. Check it every day to see what the tasks are available. Okay. Cute little fish boy. Um, or cute little fish boy. I saw a unique looking fish at the south side of the lake. It's so cute. Was it a dream? I must know. Okay, let's go find that. Lost ore. Otis here. I lost my ore near the old cave entrance and now I'm stranded. Can someone fish it out and bring it back to me? But if he's stranded, how did he write this post? Oh, he's got a like angry little face or something. Got him. Fish get! Fish get! Um, this isn't how fishing works. Uh, well, the this this game normal fishing says otherwise. Okay, let's go check out Otis, see if we can find his ore. Uh, ban that guy immediately. I'm, assur I'm assuming that's that's that ridiculous comment we got. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's Otis. Hey, fella. Hey, fellow fisherman. It's it's nice to see another person out on the lake. 
Uh, this is a good spot to relax and escape the world. Uh, but new friends are always welcome to. There's just one small problem. I lost my oar at the north side of the lake. Those kids threw a rock at me and I dropped it. And somehow it sank to the bottom. I don't think that's how oars are supposed to behave. But here I am with only one oar. If you happen to obtain it, please let me know. Love you, bye. Okay, okay, let's 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 help our bro out. Um, uh, Dakri Jack, I just imagine your wife in the other room hearing you scream, Fishke, Fishke. Michelle hears me scream a lot of weird stuff when I do these streams. This perhaps the It's the ore! And it's trying to get away! Oh, its little ore body is so narrow! Hook! Fish get! But it's an ore. <laughs> uh, guys, I don't know. I think this guy- I think this game kind of rules. I'm having a great time with this one. Don't forget to take the ore back to Otis before the day is over! Um, we'll do one more fish up here, and then maybe a f Oh, who's that? Is that someone we can talk to? Hello. Yesterday the fish were kinda easy going, but now they're getting cautious. It's probably because of the junk in the lake. Maybe we should shoot bait pellets at them. Anyway, let me know if you want to practice fishing. What a nice guy. Okay, there's, there's Otis. My oar! You actually found it! I can't believe it! Now I can do cool things like... Row! Plus I can chase those utes! And strike them down! <laughs> Later! For now I've got fish to catch! Anyway, take this valuable gem as thanks! It's overkill I know! He traded the ore for a gem. Gems of high value at the fisherman's hut. Cool. Go turn in the other quest. Um. So I need to find fishing kid I'm guessing? Oh, what's this? Welcome back to Lakeside Radio. There was a bit of trouble at the lakes last night. A group of youths made one hell of a mess. We haven't identified who they are, but we think they came from another village. Hopefully that's the last we've seen of them. Anyway, it's village market day. Hundreds of people are coming to visit. It's nice to see the village so lively, but I'm stuck here on the radio. Oh well, I guess there's always next year. Okay. Now we have one more fish before night time, but do we need to hand in that quest? I saw someone in chat say that, and so help me God if that person didn't know what they were talking about. I learned that it's in- it's against Twitch's rules of service. So you want to practice fishing? I'll use the random toy fish to get ready. I don't- I don't want- Come on. Oh, this- this thing's tough. Chat would never say something intentionally wrong. Uh, absolutely not. Um, it's a very particular relationship that I have with chat. Um, I don't want to say anything blasphemous, but I think chat has always considered me uh, very Christ-like. And I, th and I, them, my my apostles, and uh, personally. Yeah, I think that's the dynamic we have. When when I really think about it, it's not a lie if you believe. Ninety nine percent of us Judas. Ha! One, two, three. One, two, three. One, go. Okay, what can we do here? 
Hello, wife. Oh, shit. I'll go for the cream egg. Can I have Fanta? Sick. Look at this chat. Bye, Michelle. Oh, wow. She just gave me a cream egg. <gasps> oh, it's delicious chat. Stop bragging. Hey, look. The, the the wife brings me a cream egg. I accept. Okay, I ain't, I ain't bragging about nothing. Oh, I am just having a little gamer evening chat. Is that the wife that plays PlayStation as heard in the anecdote in Versus Wolves? Uh, yes, it is. Yes, it is, chat. I only have the one wife, and she is plenty. Welcome back. I hope you didn't stumble into any trouble today. Let's see what you managed to catch. Oliver, $35. Wow. Punky Perch, $20. Gem, 200! 200 fish books! Sunbow Trout. Twin Head. Thanks to everyone's efforts, we're doing good. We've got plenty of fish for the festival. I should deliver these before the evening event. The village will be thankful for your efforts. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Mr. Fishman. Hello? Oh, it's you. Are you getting the hang of things yet? The market event went well, at least. Did you meet Otis on the lake? He provided a lot of fish today, which is impressive, seeing as he lost his oar. He's skilled, but he's also a big doofus. See what you can catch tomorrow, eh? Bye. Otis. Hi there! Today didn't go as expected. There were a few issues, but uh, fishing was a success. I think my favorite fish is the Punky Perch. They're so cool and stylish, I guess, but they're not the strong, strangest thing I've seen out there. See you tomorrow, maybe. Mr. Duckman, or Mrs. Duckman. Uh. What? Chat? Uh, hang on. Well... That was concerning, because what I like about this game is that it's normal, and I don't want to play any more not normal games. Okay, let's just put it down- let's just put it down to a glitch. Okay, it's not a big deal. Good evening, youngster. Are you after some more lake rumors? I heard this place was once underwater. Maybe that's why the lake is full of treasures. Apparently, Oliver even found a sunken ship down there. I wondered what other secrets lie below. Hmm. Hey, it's the legendary fishing kid here. I've got some new fishing tips for you. Each type of fish has a different strength. Some take longer to reel in, and others can damage your line more. The stronger the fish, the more valuable they are. But to me, all fish have value. I just love fish, but I hate the water. Okay, well, let's escape this, uh, escape whatever is happening here to our loving wife. Hello, wife. Good evening, husband. I could see the lake for the, from the bedroom window today. I watched you fishing. Those young boys are causing problems. They do not respect the lake. I am concerned. I am concerned that the lakes will become angry. What if the godfish is real? What if the scratching in my skull doesn't stop? Uh, what? We should relax for tonight. Mmm. My head hurts. At night. Day three. <sighs> Husband, you must wake up. You, you okay, wife? I woke up early and went for a walk. I visited the lake to dip my feet in the water, 
But a giant monster tried to steal my toes. I escaped before it could eat me. Now I am very scared of the lake. I am also very stressed. The only solution is more money for our lifestyle. You must go and catch more fish. But be careful in case a monster eats you. Also, do not drown. It is bad for your health. I am sure you will be fine. Well, um, <clears throat> not sure about the old wifey. Oh, it's you. We need to talk. Have you heard the news? Last night, some toxic waste fell in from a truck. Nothing specific, a just the generic Here? toxic waste. Impossible. But it spilled into part of the lake. A special team cleans up the mess, but looks like it affected some of the fish. They've grown even bigger. I mean, technically, this is great news, but be careful. Something smashed the barrel to the east. I've got no idea what could have done that. But hey, at least there's a new area to explore. Anyway, you want some upgrades? I do want some upgrades. Uh, the stronger fish lasers, please. Let's go for both. Looks like you're all set. Just be careful, okay? There's already one wrecked boat out there. Don't want yours to be the next. Let's fishing! Uh, the music has taken on a... Decidedly stranger tone. Let's check the fishboard. I swear there's a robot fish from the future near the old factory in the swamp. Is the end already upon us? There's a salmon the size of a small child <laughs> swimming around the lakeside lookout like he owns the place. Someone teach him a lesson. The entrance to the old swamp area has opened up at the southeast end of the lake. Maybe there will be new fish to catch. Southeast, let's go for it. This time. Come on. Fish get! Fish get! Pokey perch. Okay, not that big a deal. Not that big a deal. Okay, we have two. Oh, what's that? <gasps> Robofish! Okay, this is gonna be a battle. Final gamer versus Robofish. Here we go. As is the consistent, the consistent thing in this stream is I am just dominating all challenges. The Emperor of Games does not fail. There's meant to be some other big fish around the lookout, but where is the lookout? Uh... What? What's going on? The line is dead. Okay. Huh. Um, chat, I'm gonna start knocking points off this game if it doesn't get more normal again soon. Um, I liked when it was just a fishing game. Um, I am becoming afraid. Small child swimming around the lark. The lakeside lookout. I think that has to be this place, right? 
I don't think that was it, but it's okay. Oh shit, there was like a gem there, damn it. Watch out! Look at the size of that thing! Your fishing rod ain't gonna cut it! Here! Use this instead! Oh! Boss battle. Dodge left, fire your gun, be to reload, okay? Oh, uh, what? Okay, got him. His claws are down. Uh oh, his claws are back. Oh shit. So if his right claw is over there, then that means I can stay on his this side. Shit. So yeah, if I just knock out one of his claws, the other one's kind of useless for a little bit and I can just unload rather than worrying about having to take out both his claws. Oh shit. Okay, one life left. Oh, okay, he's nearly dead. Once again, the final gamer is victorious. Whoa, what the damned hell just happened? I guess you just defeated King Crab. That's what I named him, because he was huge. I bet the toxic spill had something to do with it. Looks like we're safe for now, though. I'll be honest, I didn't expect you to win that one. How, how about you keep that gun just in case? You've earned it, after all. Let's hope you never need it again, huh? Anyway, let's see what you caught. Caught some junk. Punky perch. No big wins this time. The eel was kind of good. 30, that's not bad. 55 for Robo Carp. And 10 for Lake Fish. I just don't get it. The lake's always been such a safe place. Here's hoping this is the end of the madness. The village is much safer now. Tomorrow, the waters will have calmed down. Anyway, I'm sure your weird wife is... <laughs> I'm sure your weird wife is worried about you. You should go and see her. Bye. Um... Mr. Fishman, good evening. Thanks again for protecting the lake. I know this exact thing would happen. A giant crab rising up and attack people. This is what you got, got, got for disrespecting the lake. It needs to be looked after, cared for. I try my best, but something sometimes it ain't enough. You helped me to make things easier, though. Hi, friends! So, that giant crab caused a ruckus, eh? I, I never thought I'd see anything like that. It, it, it spilt a whole boat in two. It split a whole boat in two with its claws. The woman inside escaped, but imagine the damage that crab could have done. It's, it's a good thing you stopped him. I, I couldn't have done it. Okay. Mrs. Duckman was the one who gave us the weird vision last time. Good evening. I hear the news. I hope you're okay. I wanted to talk to you about today's events. Has anyone told you the legend of the godfish? The lake is more than just nature. The lake is a holy place. The legends speak of a fisherman hero. During our darkest hours, they will appear and they will calm the godfish's rage. I know most people don't believe in such things, but perhaps I do. Okay, fair, actually a fairly normal M Mrs. Duckman thing. Okay, fishing kid. Yo, it's uh, Fishing Kid here. Have you found any treasures yet? They look like treasure chests in the sand. You might see them while trying to hook a fish. They won't always appear, and it takes some time for them to show up. But if you're lucky, you, you might find a gem. It, it's worth the risk, I'd say. But, like, respect the fish and all that. Okay. Uh, now time to go inside to our wife, who's... 
totally fine. Husband! You are alive! I saw you from the window again! You defeated the monster that attacked me, my hero! Do you think it was because of... Because of... Listen, something isn't right. I'm not feeling like myself at all. The thoughts are floating somewhere far away, and when I try to grasp at them, I... I am glad that you are okay! The lake must have been angry. I hope you cl I hope you calmed it with your respect. With your... I am sleepy, husbands. I will go to bed now. Oh, it's those kids again! The lake... It knows me. Just like it knows you. They're standing on the surface. And I'm standing with them. Oh, husband? Good morning. I am feeling very tired still. Perhaps I need more sleep. The lake feels angry today, so please be safe. You are a hero now. Take your gun with you for protection. Now I need to rest. Maybe another nap? Yes. Morning, friends. Sorry about the face looking wrecked. I'm feeling exhausted today. Those youths came back last night. Had to chase them off twice. They kept knocking on my window and doors too. Plus, they broke into the cave to the north. That place was closed up for a reason. It ain't safe. Maybe I need to hire some security. Well, never mind. How about some upgrades? No, I'm okay. Let's fishing. You know what, chat? We might actually leave it there for today with normal fishing. Because... I need you guys to see something. And it is the wave fo wave fower. It is Omicron o'clock. But um weird fishing seems fucking dope. I really, really like it and I, I I can't wait to I think this is maybe something when it gets a full release, we will actually just play it, okay? <laughs> 